Young, famous, and filthy rich. Life's one big party. Welcome aboard. So call the doctor Stat. Baby, baby. Because you're headed for a case of Bieber fever. The Bieber fever is really serious. This is the fabulous life of Justin Bieber. Most teens burrow in their couch cushions for loose change to buy their first jalopy. But not Justin Bieber. This pint-sized phenom has a garage bursting at the seams with 10 hot rods worth $1.4 million. And whether he's speeding around and getting into trouble, or just heading to the studio, each ride is hotter than the next. I think that people are going to respond well to it. We call him like a hip-hop version of Richie Rich because there's so much excess in his lifestyle. If there's one thing that Justin Bieber likes to spend his money on, it is cars, cars, and more cars. The cars are definitely part of his swag. He wants the best. He wants the most extreme. Justin Bieber doesn't like to just buy expensive cars. He likes to really do them up big. He spends a lot of money to customize them, and he makes them his own. Swag, swag. Because a factory standard luxury car just isn't fab enough. Want proof? A chrome-wrapped Fisker Karma worth $100,000. Two Ferraris worth over $200,000 each. And a $110,000 Audi R8 custom painted in leopard spots. Subtle. These cars are costing upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's before the customization. I want to make it different and better. And this super sexy $200,000 white Lamborghini Gallardo Spider didn't even cost him a cent. What do you get the kid that has everything? P. Diddy got him a Lamborghini. You ready to have a good time jumping in the back of the car? It was a sweet 16 present. Aww. Thank you. Justin Bieber has teenage boy tastes with big boy money. So instead of playing with toys, Justin builds his own. Like this real-life Batmobile, which he got tailor-made right after getting his license. It's worth over $180,000. It was originally a red Cadillac CTSV coupe. It has doors that open from the front, a JB logo in steel, and crystal detailing everywhere inside. And it became the Batmobile. That is crazy. You won't see anything like it, you know? No. Are you serious? I feel like I'm in the Batmobile. This is definitely the coolest car I own. If Justin wants a Batmobile, Ooh. he can make it happen. For a guy his age, it's a hell of a way to make an entrance. This is nuts. I am in love, man. Bieber's $1.4 million car collection is more than the weekly wage of 1,800 Americans combined and has enough seats to fit three dozen believers. All aboard. Still paying off that mortgage? Or even worse, still renting an apartment? Sucker. The Beebs became a first-time homeowner at the tender age of 18. Yes, I did. Justin Bieber is a pint-sized guy, but he has a lot of square footage. 10,000 square feet, to be exact. Bieber's starter home is a $6.5 million palace in Calabasas, California. So the Calabasas neighborhood is super exclusive. It's home to Kris Jenner and many of the Kardashians. Justin's house is not a house. It's a compound. It's something that most people will never experience. Chateau Bieber, which has become a bad boy bachelor pad of late, sits on 1.3 acres in a gated community and has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a movie theater, and a six-car garage. 
which can fit half his car collection. Oh, he has a nice backyard, a gym, a guest house. You can walk to one point in his property and see like all of Calabasas and the rolling hills, and it's very grand. When Justin's tooling around town, his wardrobe gets as much attention as he does. Justin is most famous for the drop crotch pants. Drop crotch pants. The drop crotch pant has been around for a while, but Justin Bieber brought it back, made it groovy again. And the only thing bigger than Justin Bieber's inseam is his closet. His wardrobe is estimated to be worth nearly a hundred thousand dollars. Do I feel like a diva? Yeah, that boy is a style icon. Justin Bieber's style is unique because he takes all these high-end brands like Givenchy, Balmain, Louis Vuitton, Bottega Veneta, and he mixes them in with street style, baseball caps, oversized t-shirts. When it comes to Justin's style, I mean, he's into spending money. Take this cool casual outfit Bieber wore while partying in London. That leather jacket costs 5,000 bucks and is made by famed fashion house Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent is a kind of tough biker chic, but at a very high price point, luxury price point. It may look like he's just wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Those are some really expensive jeans and a t-shirt. Justin Bieber's wardrobe is a sight to behold and a source of employment to many. The stylists who put the clothes on Bieber's back are going to show you how it's done. Justin can break the bank. He did one jacket that was six grand. He says, no, I want three. I say, okay, but you know that's going to be 18 grand. He was like, yeah, I said I want three. Everything Justin wore on tour was custom made for him. He was spending anywhere between 40 and 50 grand. I remember getting phone calls at 2 and 3 in the morning, and he's like, I text you a picture of my idea for a tour jacket. See what you think about it. I'm half asleep, but we got to get up and be ready to go. We have the signature beaver on the back. All of these are hand stone. So altogether, this outfit was about $3,500. It took like four days just to get the crystals and the studs. $3,500 just yeah. for the shoes. The jacket was around $3,500. This look was about $5,000, probably about six grand. Total cost for this outfit, $5,000. And worth every penny. So Justin was actually introduced to drop crotch pants in a funny way. We were having a fitting and Ashley came in and had a pair on. And he was like, at first making fun of them, like, oh, hammer pants, your hammer pants. But I swear two days later we got a phone call that said, I want some custom hammer pants. It was probably a two or three inch drop. Now he's wearing five or six inches. So everything is extreme with him. Swag, swag, swag. swag. Basically swag was anything cool. The swag. swag. <laughs> it's a great word. But Bieber's absolute favorite item? his sneakers and he's got hundreds of pairs to prove it justin has a sneaker closet in his calabasas mansion he's got top of the line designers from saint laurent to supra justin has a larger shoe collection than carrie bradshaw but these aren't your beat up gym sneaks Many a one-of-a-kind kicks made only for Justin by Dominic Chambrone, a.k.a. the shoe surgeon. And lucky for you, the doctor is in. When Justin Bieber wants one-of-a-kind shoes, he comes to me, the shoe surgeon. I turn a pair of sneakers into a piece of art. Every shoe that I make is one-of-a-kind, and nothing's replicated. Bieber likes zippers, he likes really shiny things. The shoes can range anywhere from $1,500 to $5,000. Justin Bieber has probably spent about $70,000 on shoes from me. What I did to them was add purple lamb leather. If you were to watch them on stage, they would actually glow like a light bulb. It's about a $3,000 shoe. This isn't easy work. You actually like, break your back. These shoes I ordered thousand dollars worth of rhinestones it took 24 hours straight to put on each rhinestone one by one 
But for Justin Bieber, I had to get them done. Because when Justin says jump, we all say how high. Coming up, bling that's more than child's play. This particular piece took over 60 man hours. And it's wheels up, Bieber style. She will repair any meal you'd like by hand. And later, see how Justin unloads his cash on his friends. Justin Bieber's friends want to die and then come back as Justin Bieber's friends. When the fabulous life of Justin Bieber returns. Jewelry is a big status symbol. And the more diamonds you wear, the richer you are. For Justin Bieber, diamonds are a boy's best friend. When it comes to jewelry, Justin Bieber does not hold back. He likes the more conservative stuff, you know what I mean? Kind of nice, but classy conservative, you know? Um, conservative? Sure, if you're the Queen of England. And if she were into thick gold chains, diamond ID bracelets, and even a diamond-encrusted Family Guy necklace. Justin Bieber has a very playful sense with his jewelry, his accessories, so he has a sense of humor and a bit of panache. The crown jewel in his crazy cool collection is J. Biebs' Ode to Stewie. Justin Bieber loved the TV show Family Guy so much that he actually commissioned a diamond-encrusted Stewie necklace for him to wear on a red carpet. It's time that, you know, I... I add something new meet the king of bling who made justin's diamond encrusted stewie a reality jason of beverly hills one thing about being a celebrity jeweler is you constantly get specialty requests celebrities want their piece different and they want it now and that's exactly what we specialize in welcome to my private appointment only showroom this particular showroom here houses over $10 million of diamond jewelry. Justin has a very unique taste in jewelry. Justin wants pieces that other people simply don't have. Justin was amazing to work with. Knew exactly what he wanted, which always makes my job a lot easier. We started with a drawing of the Stewie pendant he wanted with outlining each section and what color diamonds were going to go on it and how it was going to be made. We had four different color of diamonds, rubies, black diamonds, white diamonds set on yellow gold, and we really copied the piece to a T. A piece like this is very difficult. It took us a long time to make sure all the diamonds matched perfectly. Justin needed it in three to four days. This particular piece took over 60 man hours to do. We had over seven different craftsmen working and it cost over $25,000. From there, I flew all the way to London to make sure I personally delivered it to him while he was on tour. And I saw the biggest smile in the world once I delivered that piece to Justin. And his iced out jewels don't end there. Justin never has an excuse to be late, thanks to this $50,000 Rolex. It's made of 14 karat yellow gold with a champagne diamond bezel set dial. Everyone loves it. And what's better than one flashy watch worth more than a down payment on most homes? Two. I mean, hello. You might lose one. Watches worth $100,000 just sets the bar for Justin's travel budget. There aren't too many things that are more gangster than being able to fly private. I go anywhere I want. You said it. Now, hop on board the Hawker 4000 and find out for yourself how it feels to travel like Justin Bieber. Welcome aboard. As long as it's safe and legal, we'll get it done. And that's why celebrities fly private. $6,000 per hour to fly from New York to L.A. or approximately $30,000. As a child, everyone wants to get in the cockpit of an aircraft and see what's going on. As a private jet client, you get to do that. But if that $20 million hotel in the air is too snug for Bieber and his entourage, he upgrades to this, the Gulfstream 4 SP. It's the epitome of luxury. Every single component was hand-selected and handcrafted. From the custom hand-stitched seat 
to the individual touchscreen monitor at every single seat, this jet has it all. Every aircraft in Talon Air's fleet is stocked specifically to each and every passenger's personal preference. A guy like Justin, he wants everything on board from Doritos to Dentine Ice. She will prepare any meal you'd like by hand. A guy like Justin, he prefers the burger. A round trip from New York to LA, 10 hours, it's $75,000 round trip. It's not cheap, but it's worth every penny. And after touching down, Justin can only rest on the finest pillows inside the poshest hotels. Justin travels in style. He ain't staying at a Motel 6. Justin Bieber will only stay at the most luxurious and expensive hotels. Wouldn't you? Bienvenido a Miami. Bieber's Florida crash pad is the Mandarin Oriental. The Mandarin Oriental is the top of the line hotel. Royalty stays there. Massive celebrities stay there. Politicians stay there. It is only for the ultra rich. And inside the 2400 square foot Oriental suite, he can play piano, watch movies in the media room, or just kick it on his wraparound balcony with an ocean view. All for a piddly $7,500 per night. What's it like? I don't know. You better ask Justin Bieber. I haven't stayed there. No hotel? No problem. The Lux Copacabana Palace Hotel in Rio, which rents penthouses for up to $2,800 per night, wouldn't let Justin bring all his pals back. Bieber's solution? Rent an over-the-top crib nearby. I mean, can't stay in one hotel? You just go out and run a mansion. He can drop a ton of dough on doing that and doesn't even think twice. Coming up, Justin's so flush with cash, he even employs a swagger coach. He told Justin where to shop, what to listen to, how to walk. Then, meet Justin's monkey middleman. Justin said he wanted one. I fell in love with him because he's like a little human. And how Justin went from this to this and got super rich when the fabulous life of Justin Bieber returns. Justin Bieber truly lives in the lap of luxury. But if you think he's rolling solo, you've got another thing coming. The hottest accessory for any superstar is his entourage. The people that you surround yourself is really important. Justin rolls super deep. He has a giant posse of guys and girls surrounding him at all times. The Prince of Pop has a loyal legion of foot soldiers up to 20 people. I have a great team surrounding me that keeps me humble. Justin's got every staffer you can imagine on his payroll. Bodyguards? Check. Stylists? Check. Swagger coach? Double check. Yes, this mini mogul is so loaded that he pays this guy who's acted as his road manager and creative director to teach him how to be cool. Aha! When Justin was coming up as a big star, he told Justin what was cool in every way, where to eat, how to walk, where to shop, what to listen to. Justin can put something on and look at Ryan, and if Ryan is like, no, that's not you, or that's whack, I mean, Justin will want to try something else. But the list of bizarre job duties Justin's posse performs doesn't end there. Bieber has guys around him who will throw him parties, get him girls, get him food, get him drinks. I actually saw him out of New York City nightclub where he had a bunch of his friends stand in front of him to create a human wall. And if anyone tried to take a picture, they would immediately raise up their hands. But Justin takes care of them right back. The Beebs doles out five-star vacations to his nearest and dearest. Justin takes his friends with him wherever he goes. When he goes on the road, he takes them along with him, but always VIP level all the way. They're on the jet with him, they're in the clubs with him. 
Justin Bieber's friends want to die and then come back as Justin Bieber's friends. He's very generous, like, hey, let me take you to an island. Let me take you jet skiing. Let me take you to go, you know, to Indonesia. JB took his homies, including rapper Lil Twist, on this mind-blowing trip to St. Lucia. They stayed at the all-inclusive resort, The Body Holiday, where penthouse suites cost up to $1,400 per person per night. That's ten grand for the whole crew every night. Best friends forever, indeed. The bromantic trips continued in Hawaii, the Bahamas, and Miami. But even the best tropical island vacation is fleeting. Now a house, that's forever. When you're Justin's friend, you not only roll into the coolest parties, but you get to use his cars, you get to live in his house. Yes, these coattail riders like Lil Twist and Lil Za live rent-free in Bieber's mansion, saving them about $20,000 a month. Justin Bieber is essentially operating a dorm for his entire entourage. And they get to zip around in Bieber's high-priced hot rods. Justin had his friend Little Twist staying with him and using his cars while he was out on the road and his Believe tour. Same thing with Tyler, the creator. He was often buzzing around Justin's housing complex. I'm doing that. Right. <laughs> Justin wants to make sure that everyone is having just as fabulous a life as he is. I like to be young. Here's to wishing we're long-lost cousins of the bee. Coming up, the inside scoop on Justin's costly chimp. I've never seen a monkey bond with anybody like that. Then, extracurriculars that are out of this world. Someday I will be an astronaut. If Justin Bieber wants to go to space, he can go to space. And later, no such thing as a little trim. Justin's hair is big business, so he has to spend top dollar on it. When the fabulous life of Justin Bieber returns. Bieber's blessed with good genes, but it still costs serious coin. So fly. It's the do that sparked a worldwide craze. It feels great. Bieber's hair is part of what really made him famous. When JB turned into a superstar in 2009, his hair did too. Teenage boys across the country were running to their stylist to ask them to cut their hair just like Justin Bieber. You have to know how to handle it. And when he cut those majestic tresses two years later, it stopped believers in their tracks. When it changed, it caused oohs and ahs all around the world. I love you. Yeah, pretty pretty cool. And maintaining Bieber's quaff ain't cheap. Justin flies out high-end hairstylist Vanessa Price for $750 per cut. Every two weeks. That's approximately $20,000 a year. Oh, yeah. Justin's hair is big business, so he has to spend top dollar on it. But Justin is so much more than his luscious locks. Like his epidermal designs. His bod's got more ink than a pen factory. Justin Bieber's tattoo artist is essentially the Leonardo da Vinci of tattoo artists. She's talking about Chewy Quintana, who scribbled on other stars like Travis Barker. I've been a fan for a long time. Chewy's got the skills of a renaissance painter and the rates. He charges $300 per hour and a minimum of $1,500 per tattoo. Meet the man who gets to touch and ink Justin Bieber. My name is Chewy Quintana. I specialize in uh, black and gray tattooing. Working with celebrities is different. Uh, they don't have a regular schedule. Just if you were, sometimes will call me like around two in the morning and I, I gotta drop what I'm doing and, I, and I, I'll go and tattoo them. I usually do like a basic quick little sketch. This is something similar that I did to, to Justin Bieber and if they like it, we will tattoo it. 
a cool take pride in uh, when I see my work on, on a celebrity. It's just like a walking canvas. I've seen it a lot now. Like a lot of people, are, they just want to get tattooed by, by the person that tattooed or touched that celebrity. I, I try to like do what people like, but you know, just do it better, you know? Justin definitely loves to be the coolest kid in the room. He wants to always be in the center of attention. What's the point of being one of the richest kids on Earth if you can't show it off? And speaking of Earth, what's swaggier than going to outer space? I could be a buzz light year fly across the globe. Roger. JB plunked down a quarter of a million bucks for a seat on the Virgin Galactic spaceship. If Justin Bieber wants to go to space, he can go to space. He wanted to get on the list for a three hour tour of space on the Virgin Galactic. Lady Gaga and Angelina Jolie are also signed up. The rocket will travel at a thousand miles per hour, 1.4 times the speed of sound. Someday I will be an astronaut. I was in a club in New York City after the Victoria's Secret fashion show. He walked in and they planted him right in the middle of all the hottest Victoria's Secret models. They immediately started hovering all around him. He had one Victoria's Secret model on one knee, another on his other knee, and the rest were flanking all around him. Justin Bieber has it all. He's young, he's cute, he has women fawning over him. Every guy wants to be Justin Bieber and every girl wants to date him. In scorching hot Miami, people are usually hoping for some rain, but this isn't what they were thinking. Justin went to the same strip club that all the celebrities go to in Miami, the King of Diamonds Strip Club, and he spent $75,000, and that's just in a matter of hours. And from Miami to L.A., when this sports fanatic heads to the arena to watch some hoops, he's got courtside seats. Alongside other A-listers like Rihanna. Each chair can cost up to $17,000 for an NBA playoff game. But the Biebs wouldn't dream of sitting anywhere else. Justin Bieber doesn't do anything low-key. Baller. Monkeys really are the celebrity pet of choice. Paris Hilton had a monkey. Michael Jackson very famously had Bubbles the chimp. Celebrities love pet monkeys because it's just another thing that gives them attention. Justin Bieber jumped on the bandwagon and got this white-headed capuchin named OG Molly. Worth $15,000. It's the most exclusive, exotic, and expensive animal you can have, and he wanted one. But on tour in Munich, the German government tossed a monkey wrench into his happy gorilla lifestyle when they seized little OG. Claiming that Justin didn't have the right papers. So did Justin go bananas? When you're as rich as Justin Bieber and the government takes your monkey, you just leave it behind. The German government charged Bieber $11,000 for chucking his champ. He's so rich, he doesn't mind paying for his monkey to live in Germany without him. And of course, he picked up a second chimp worth 15 grand. Duh. And when you're as connected as Justin Bieber, you have a monkey middleman. That's music producer Molly Mall. Hi, I'm Molly Mall. Welcome to my house. Uh, Justin is actually a, a, he's a wonderful person. He's an animal lover. He loves animals. Bubs is, uh, he's six years old. I got him when he was six weeks. Two and a half years ago, Justin came here for a little twist birthday party. Justin actually set up a DVD player, got Curious George. And he sat there with my monkey and, you know, gave him popcorn and snacks and bananas. I've never seen a monkey bond with anybody like that. Bubs is a sweetheart. Here, you want some? Want some grapes? Justin said he wanted one. I fell in love with him because he's like a little human. He's like having a son. And it's funny, when I got him his monkey, and uh, they bonded, like, right away. We went on a private jet, and the monkey was sleeping with him, and it was, like, chemistry from the start for him. That one was about 15 grand. I realized how much energy I had to put in changing diapers and 
spending time with him. What are you doing? You gonna play? Bieber's always gone ape for exotic pets. He used to own an albino boa constrictor. But for this pop star, snakes aren't just pets, they're accessories. We picked a whole outfit for MTV and it was like amazing. And then Justin calls us and he says, I'm gonna add something to the outfit. And we're like, oh, what, with sunglasses, you know? He says, no, I'm gonna bring my snake. Intense negotiations ensued, and the snakelet was born. Britney, eat your heart out. Coming up... The Bieber fever is really serious. Bieber fever is infecting the nation. Everything Justin Bieber touches really does turn to gold. And filling Justin's bank account. I think that that's really special. When the fabulous life of Justin Bieber continues. Do you have the sweats? Yes. Feel dizzy or lightheaded? Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Then you've got a case of Bieber fever. This condition is so contagious, even the steeliest celebrities are not immune. Bieber! I did grab his butt. I'm single. And the Bieber fever is really serious. <laughs> Women are left breathless by one flip of that hair. And because of them, Justin went from this to this. Come in, but uh, you can't let everyone in. Justin Bieber's fans are rabid in a way that we haven't seen since the fans of the Beatles. All my fans have been incredible and really supportive. We were in a van one time, and he's like telling his driver to slow down because he's scared because this girl is sprinting and trying to get video of him on her phone. And he's like, Yeah, slow down. I don't want her to get hurt. It's a scary place, you know. And with a little help from his friends, Justin Bieber has turned himself into a one man empire. If you look at the, the top earners like John Bon Jovi, Lady Gaga, Jay-Z, uh, Madonna, Justin Bieber has managed to go kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Oh, oh, oh. One of the world's most successful and highest paid performers, oh, oh, oh. Justin's song Baby went platinum ten times, oh, oh, oh. turning it diamond. Yes, that's a thing. And he's already won boatloads of awards. So where do all the coins in his piggy bank come from? Bieber makes the bulk of his money from touring. I know you like the beats. He's grossing, you know, well over a million dollars a night. Then, of course, there's all the merchandising. Ah, yes, the merchandising. When we do our calculations at Forbes, we figure, you know, about $5 a head. That's pretty good. Um, Bieber gets about $15 a head. Every one of these is buying 15 bucks of Bieber t-shirts, posters, and even toothbrushes. Believe that. From his Believe tour, Justin reportedly earned more than 50 million bucks. And he's cashing in at all angles. His documentary, Never Say Never, brought in a whopping 73 million bucks in ticket sales. 30 million dollars of that from its first weekend alone. It's huge. It's practically unheard of. And brands are bending over backwards to team up with him. Adidas made him the face of its Neo line, while Proactive reportedly forked over three million dollars for his endorsement. And OPI nail polish shelled out a whopping 12 million. Justin Bieber is the most popular person on Twitter, so of course companies are going to want to associate themselves with him. Well, he's still got that direct line to those hardcore fans of his. He shot to stardom because of his online savvy, and he's using that to sort of maintain and even grow his Justin Bieber brand. Yes! Ladies, if you've always wanted Justin Bieber all over your body, here's your chance. 
Spray on his signature scent called Someday. Does everybody like the smell? Yeah. Which has earned 60 million in retail sales. Someday was the biggest celebrity fragrance launch to date. Justin is really a force to be reckoned with in the media world. Everything Justin Bieber touches really does turn to gold. If Justin tells his fans to buy something, they don't just go out and buy it. They go out and buy four. And now this social media boy wonder wants to be a tech titan, investing at least $3 million in Silicon Valley startups. He told me when I interviewed him, I want to invest in things that I know and understand. And social media and, and tech startups would definitely fall into that category. I have no doubt that Justin Bieber will turn his media empire into one as big as Jay-Z's at some point. Never say never, indeed. Coming up, just how loaded is the Richie Rich of the music world? He cannot even spend the amount of money that he has. And how he's giving back. I like to be a positive influence for others. When the fabulous life of Justin Bieber returns. Justin Bieber loves spending his millions but he's also sharing them with those in need. He's remembered where he come from and he spends a lot of time and money to help the people who have helped him. When he famously chopped his trademark golden locks, he put them on the auction block, raising $40,000 for the Gentle Barn, an animal rescue organization. I mean, that's how much people are dying to get their hands on Bieber's hair, literally. Oh, Justin, I love you. And speaking of the believers, Justin appealed to them to raise money for Typhoon Haiyan relief. And he flew 7,292 miles to Manila to spread some much-needed cheer, distributing books, toys, and snacks to survivors. After the typhoon in the Philippines, Justin raised more than $650,000. The children of the Philippines were so touched that Justin personally flew down there, spent time with them. I like to... Um... Be a positive for us brothers. Bieber is known for digging into his own bottomless pockets. One of the other things that Bieber talked to me about was that he wanted to include a charitable component in every deal he does. Justin donates a dollar of every ticket sale to his charity Pencils for Promise. Thirteen million dollars of tickets from his Believe Tour went to help build schools in the developing world. This whole thing's been just incredible. That's an understatement. Justin Bieber's catapulted from an unknown Canadian teen to a megastar in just a few short years and is worth an estimated $130 million. I'm excited to be here. That means every inch of his 5 foot 9 inch body is worth $1.9 million. Not bad for someone born in the year 1994. Despite being so young, Justin Bieber has managed to earn over $50 million each of the past three years, which really kind of puts him up there with the top five or ten names in all of the entertainment period. Every time Justin Bieber breathes, a stream of money is going into one of his bank accounts. Justin's got so much dough, he and his posse could stay in the room. Women are left breathless by one flip of that hair. And because of them, Justin went from this to this. I wish all of them could come in, but uh, you can't let everyone in. Justin Bieber's fans are rabid in a way that we haven't seen since the fans of the Beatles. All my fans have been incredible and really supportive. We were in a van one time, and he's like telling his driver to slow down because he's scared because this girl is sprinting and trying to get video of him on her phone. And he's like, "Yeah, hey, slow down. I don't want her to get hurt." It's a scary place, you know. And with a little help from his friends, Justin Bieber has turned himself into a one-man empire. If you look at the the top earners like John Bon Jovi, Lady Gaga, Jay Z, uh, Madonna, Justin Bieber has managed to go kind of toe to toe with them. One of the world's most successful and highest paid performers, Justin's song Baby went platinum ten times, turning it diamond. 
Yes, that's a thing. And we will never, ever, ever be apart. And he's already won boatloads of awards. So where do all the coins in his piggy bank come from? Bieber makes the bulk. Justin Bieber's tattoo artist is essentially the Leonardo da Vinci of tattoo artists. She's talking about Chewy Quintana, who scribbled on other stars like Travis Barker. I've been a fan for a long time. Chewy's got the skills of a Renaissance painter and the rates. He charges $300 per hour and a minimum of $1,500 per tattoo. Meet the man who gets to touch and ink Justin Bieber. My name is Chewy Quintana. I specialize in uh, black and gray tattooing. Working with celebrities is different. Uh, they don't have a regular schedule. Just if you were sometimes we'll probably like around two in the morning and I, I gotta drop what I'm doing and I and I, I go and tattoo them. I usually do like a basic quick little sketch. This is something similar that I did to, to Justin Bieber. And if they like it, we will tattoo it. I do take pride in uh, when I see my work on, on a celebrity. It's like a walking canvas. I've seen it a lot now. Like, a lot of people, are, they just want to get tattooed by, by the person that tattooed or touched that celebrity. I, I try to, like, do what people like, but, you know, just do it better, you know? Justin definitely loves to be the coolest kid in the room. He wants to always be in the center of attention. But backwards to team up with him. Adidas made him the face of its Neo line, while Proactive reportedly forked over $3 million for his endorsement. And OPI nail polish shelled out a whopping $12 million. Justin Bieber is the most popular person on Twitter. So, of course, companies are going to want to associate themselves with him. Well, he's still got that direct line to those hardcore fans of his. He shot to stardom because of his online savvy, and he's using that to sort of maintain and even grow his Justin Bieber brand. Yes! Ladies, if you've always wanted Justin Bieber all over your body, here's your chance. Spray on his signature scent called Someday. Does everybody like the smell? Yeah. Which has earned 60 million in retail sales. Someday was the biggest celebrity fragrance launch to date. Justin is really a force to be reckoned with in the media world. Everything Justin Bieber touches really does turn to gold. If Justin tells his fans to buy something, they don't just go out and buy it. They go out and buy four. And now this social media boy wonder wants to be a tech titan, investing at least $3 million in Silicon Valley startups. He told me when I interviewed him, I want to invest in things that I know and understand. And social media... Beam up with him. Adidas made him the face of its Neo line, while Proactive reportedly forked over $3 million for his endorsement. And OPI nail polish shelled out a whopping $12 million. Justin Bieber is the most popular person on Twitter, so of course companies are going to want to associate themselves with him. Well, he's still got that direct line to those hardcore fans of his. He shot to stardom because of his online savvy, and he's using that to sort of maintain and even grow his Justin Bieber brand. Yes! Ladies, if you've always wanted Justin Bieber all over your body, here's your chance. Spray on his signature scent called Someday. Does everybody like the smell? Yeah. Which has earned 60 million in retail sales. Someday was the biggest celebrity fragrance launch to date. Justin is really a force to be reckoned with in the media world. Everything Justin Bieber touches really does turn to gold. If Justin tells his fans to buy something, they don't just go out and buy it. They go out and buy four. And now this social media boy wonder wants to be a tech titan, investing at least $3 million in Silicon Valley startups. He told me when I interviewed him, I want to invest in things that I know and understand, and social media and, and tech startups. Justin Bieber, this pint-sized phenom has a garage bursting at the seams with 10 hot rods worth $1.4 million. 
And whether he's speeding around and getting into trouble, or just heading to the studio, each ride is hotter than the next. I think that people are going to respond well to it. We call him like a hip-hop version of Richie Rich because there's so much excess in his lifestyle. If there's one thing that Justin Bieber likes to spend his money on, it is cars, cars, and more cars. The cards are definitely part of his swag. He wants the best. He wants the most extreme. Justin Bieber doesn't like to just buy expensive cars. He likes to really do them up big. He spends a lot of money to customize them, and he makes them his own. Because a factory standard luxury car just isn't fab enough. Want proof? A chrome-wrapped Fisca Karma worth $100,000. Two Ferraris worth over $200,000 each. And a $110,000 Audi R8 custom painted in leopard spots. Subtle. These cars are costing upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's before the customization. I want to make it different and better. And this super sexy $200,000 white Lamborghini goes. One thing about being a celebrity jeweler is you constantly get specialty requests. Celebrities want their piece different, and they want it now. And that's exactly what we specialize in. Welcome to my private appointment-only showroom. This particular showroom here houses over $10 million of diamond jewelry. Justin has a very unique taste in jewelry. Justin wants pieces that other people simply don't have. Justin was amazing to work with. He knew exactly what he wanted, which always makes my job a lot easier. We started with a drawing of the Stewie pendant he wanted, with outlining each section and what color diamonds were going to go on it and how it was going to be made. We had four different color of diamonds, rubies, black diamonds, white diamonds, set on yellow gold, and we really copied the piece to a T. A piece like this is very difficult. It took us a long time to make sure all the diamonds matched perfectly. Justin needed it in three to four days. This particular piece took over 60 man hours to do. We had over seven different craftsmen working, and it cost over $25,000. From there, I flew all the way to London to make sure I personally delivered it to him while he was on tour. And I saw the biggest smile in the world once I delivered that piece to Justin. You smile, I smile. And his iced out Dean present. Aww. Thank you. Justin Bieber has teenage boy tastes with big boy money. So instead of playing with toys, Justin builds his own. Like this real-life Batmobile, which he got tailor-made right after getting his license. It's worth over $180,000. It was originally a red Cadillac CTS-V coupe. It has doors that open from the front, a JB logo in steel, and crystal detailing everywhere inside. And it became the Batmobile. That is crazy. You well, won't see if you like it, you know? No. Are you serious? I feel like I'm in the Batmobile. This is definitely the coolest car I own. If Justin wants a Batmobile, Ooh. he can make it happen. For a guy his age, it's a hell of a way to make an entrance. This is nuts. I am in love, man. Bieber's $1.4 million car collection is more than the weekly wage of 1,800 Americans combined and has enough seats to fit three dozen believers. All aboard. Still paying off that mortgage? Or even worse, still renting an apartment? Sucker. The Biebs became a first-time homeowner at the tender age... Um, Bieber gets about $15 a head. Every one of these is buying 15 bucks of Bieber t-shirts, posters, and even toothbrushes. Believe that. From his Believe tour, Justin reportedly earned more than 50 million bucks. And he's cashing in at all angles. His documentary, Never Say Never, brought in a whopping 73 million bucks in ticket sales. 30 million dollars of that from its first weekend alone. It's huge. It's practically unheard of. 
and brands are bending over backwards to team up with him. Adidas made him the face of its Neo line, while Proactive reportedly forked over $3 million for his endorsement. And OPI nail polish shelled out a whopping $12 million. Justin Bieber is the most popular person on Twitter, so of course companies are going to want to associate themselves with him. Well, he's still got that direct line to those hardcore fans of his. He shot to stardom because of his online savvy, and he's using that to sort of maintain and even grow his Justin Bieber brand. Ladies, if you've always wanted Justin Bieber all over your body, here's your chance. Spray on his signature, Jason of Beverly Hills. One thing about being a celebrity jeweler is you constantly get specialty requests. Celebrities want their piece different, and they want it now. And that's exactly what we specialize in. Welcome to my private appointment-only showroom. This particular showroom here houses over $10 million of diamond jewelry. Justin has a very unique taste in jewelry. Justin wants pieces that other people simply don't have. Justin was amazing to work with. He knew exactly what he wanted, which always makes my job a lot easier. We started with a drawing of the Stewie pendant he wanted, with outlining each section and what color diamonds were going to go on it and how it was going to be made. We had four different color of diamonds, rubies, black diamonds, white diamonds, set on yellow gold, and we really copied the piece to a T. A piece like this is very difficult. It took us a long time to make sure all the diamonds matched perfectly. Justin needed it in three to four days. This particular piece took over 60 man hours to do. We had over seven different craftsmen working, and it cost over $25,000. From there, I flew all the way to London to make sure I personally delivered it to him while he was on tour. And I saw the biggest smile in the world once I delivered that piece to Justin. with street style, baseball caps, oversized t-shirts. When it comes to Justin's style, I mean, he's into spending money. Take this cool casual outfit Bieber wore while partying in London. That leather jacket costs 5,000 bucks and is made by famed fashion house Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent is a kind of tough biker chic, but at a very high price point, luxury price point. It may look like he's just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, those are some really expensive jeans and a t-shirt. Justin Bieber's wardrobe is a sight to behold and a source of employment to many. The stylists who put the clothes on Bieber's back are going to show you how it's done. Justin can break the bank. He did one jacket that was six grand. He says, no, I want three. I said, okay, but you know that's going to be 18 grand. He was like, yeah, I said I want three. Everything Justin wore on tour was custom made for him. He was spending anywhere between 40 and 50 grand. I remember getting phone calls at 2 and 3 in the morning, and he's like, I text you a picture of my idea for a tour jacket. See what you think about it. I'm half asleep, but we got to get up and be ready to go. And he had the signature beaver on the back. All of these are hand stone. So altogether, this outfit was about 35. He wants to be Justin Bieber, and every girl wants to date him. In scorching hot Miami, people are usually hoping for some rain. But this isn't what they were thinking. Justin went to the same strip club that all the celebrities go to in Miami, the King of Diamond Strip Club, and he spent $75,000, and that's just in a matter of hours. And from Miami to L.A., when this sports fanatic heads to the arena to watch some hoops, he's got courtside seats. Alongside other A-listers like Rihanna. Each chair can cost up to $17,000 for an NBA playoff game. But the Biebs wouldn't dream of sitting anywhere else. Justin Bieber doesn't do anything low-key. Baller. Monkeys really are the celebrity pet of choice. Paris Hilton had a monkey. Michael Jackson very famously had Bubbles the Chimp. 
Celebrities love pet monkeys because it's just another thing that gives them attention. Justin Bieber jumped on the bandwagon and got this white-headed capuchin named OG Molly. Worth $15,000. It's the most exclusive, exotic, and expensive animal you can have, and he wanted one. But on tour in Munich, the German...